If you're only here to get to a specific task, go ahead and click on the number associated with that task on the map on the screen, and you'll be taken to that part in the video. If you're looking forward to doing all the tasks all at once, then go ahead and skip past this, and we will go through all of them as soon as this is over. All right. Before you get started on any of these diaries, any of the Varrock diaries, you need to come to the Varrock Center, and you need to talk to Toby, and you need to say you have a question about the achievement diaries. As soon as you see that go yellow, you are good to go on your achievement diaries. So make sure you come to the Rock Center and talk to Toby, so you have a question, and that should turn yellow. As soon as that turns yellow, you're good to go. Hi guys, and welcome to my guide for the Easy for Rock Achievement Diaries. This is my fourth time recording this intro, so I'm going to hope that this one is the one that works. So, without further ado, let's get into the items we're going to need. We're going to need a pickaxe, I'm bringing about 10,000 coins, a log, any kind of hatchet, some bones, soft clay, an earth talisman or tiara, doesn't matter. One rune or pure essence, again, it doesn't matter. A fly fishing rod and some feathers. The skills you're going to need are 15 mining, 13 agility, 8 crafting, 9 rune crafting, 20 fishing, and 5 thieving. The only quests that you actually need to have done to do this are the rune mysteries. However, for one of the achievements, you're going to need to have completed various quests or just a dig site quest. Um, some recommended items for me are weight reducing gear for obvious reasons and your standard teleports, a glory, ring of dueling, you know, the usual kind of stuff that you want when you're running around RuneScape. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to catch some trout in the River Lum, which is right next to Barbarian Village. So we will just catch a trout and move on. So once we've done that, it will be task complete. So the next thing we're going to do I'm just going to run over to Barbarian Village, and we're going to make a bowl and then fire the bowl all within Barbarian Village. So you're going to use your soft clay on the potter's wheel here in Barbarian Village. You're going to turn it into a bowl. You're going to fire that bowl in the pottery oven, and that is going to be task complete. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to enter the second level of the uh, Stronghold of Security. So go down the hole in the middle. And then you are going to go through the portal. And we are going to climb down the ladder over here. Again, if you haven't already gone through this, then you're going to have to run through the entire first floor again. But once you've done that, you're going to get a task complete. And then from here, my recommendation is that we teleport to Varrock. All right, from here, you're going to want to go ahead and talk to Felicia. How do you say her name? the Salia, anything like that, and you're just going to want to click. So when you browse the Lycia store, just go ahead and click trade. It should pop up that the achievement has been obtained if you didn't get it when you click the makeover option. And then from here, we are going to run south out of town. We'll run south, you're going to run straight south out of the town of Rock, and I will be back when we get to that fence. Also, short little side note, if you are running outside of town this way, go ahead and enter the, cha or the Champions Guild. That'll be a medium task complete. Well, it's not a guide for medium tasks, but if you are doing all of them in one swoop like I am, just go ahead and do that and it'll save you some time later. So you want to continue running south along this path, and then you just want to jump over the fence. Which is right over here jump and there you go that'll be task complete and head over to the mine the iron mine so the mine in case you didn't know is to the southeast of rock so then we're just going to run east once you get here, go ahead and mine some iron here at the mines, and boom, task complete. From here, you want to exit the mine and run north to the sawmill. So once we're here towards the sawmill, you want to go ahead and use your earth tiara or your earth talisman and enter the mysterious ruins for the earth altar. Run up to the earth altar, craft a rune, task complete, leave the altar, and continue towards the sawmill. Once here at the sawmill, go ahead and buy a plank from the operator buy just a normal plank for 100 and that's going to need to be another task complete. Now from here, so before you leave the sawmill, go ahead and climb into the sawmill and you are going to want to chop 
one of these dying trees, and that will be task complete. Now, my recommendation is that you teleport back to Varrock. And then from here, go ahead and start heading east. Now from here you have a couple choices. You can either go north, east, or south. I'm going to go ahead and go north to the museum. And we're just going to talk to somebody once you've gotten 50 kudos. Now if you don't have 50 kudos yet, no big deal. If you've done the dig site quest, you can just enter through this little gate right here and start digging up specimens and cleaning them and replacing them in the frames and all that fun stuff and you'll eventually get 50 kudos. If you've done a bunch of quests you can head upstairs and talk to the historian and tell him you have information about some of the exhibits and that will get you kudos as well. Also the downstairs quiz area that got you 9 Slayer and Hunter in the very beginning is another way to get kudos. But once you've gotten 50 go ahead and talk to Hey Halen. Um, just talk about stuff. Do you know where I can find treasure? Come for me, and that's going to give you task complete. So from here, we are going to run to the south, and we're going to steal some tea from the tea stall. So once you're here at the tea stall, go ahead and steal the tea, and that'll be task complete. Now continue walking south until you get to the rune shop where Aubrey is, and you're going to teleport to the rune essence mine. Now. An achievement that you'll get along the way is when you get this dog following you, which will just happen randomly, go ahead and use your bones on him, feed the dog, and you'll get another task complete. That one I didn't really have a specified time. You'll just eventually encounter the dog, and there you go. So once Aubrey teleports you, you will now be at the Renaissance Mine, and that will be task complete. Just go ahead and leave the mine. You can either do that by leaving or teleporting to Varrock. I probably could just teleport to Varrock to begin with. And then from here, you could have also done this step whenever, but you're going to want to talk to Benny and buy a newspaper. Here you go. And that'll be task complete. Correction, don't listen to me. I'm dumb. I messed up this diary a lot. So you should get this message right after you buy the flyer, which is really convenient because you're right next to Toby. Cool story. But I should say that you have all the tasks complete, and when you have done this, go ahead and head to Varrock. So teleport back to Varrock, and you're going to want to talk to Toby to get your Varrock armor 1. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. So you get Varrock armor 1, and you also get an antique lamp. Now, what do these do? So the antique lamp you can rub for um, 2,500 experience in any skill above level 30. You also get the opportunity to buy 15 battle staffs from Zav every day for 7,000 coins each. And that those are the rewards that you get. So what does the Varrock Armor 1 do? It gives you a 10% chance of mining two ores at once up to coal. And also gives you a 2% chance of smithing two bars up to once or at once up to steel when using the Edgeville furnace. So that is what the Varrock Armor 1 does and the lamp that corresponds with it. So I hope this guide was helpful. I hope it was informative. And if it was, go ahead and give it a like. And if it wasn't, give it a dislike and tell me what I could have done differently. I'm really interested to hear. And if you're looking forward to more RuneScape content coming in the future, go ahead and subscribe as I'm producing content daily or you know every other day. So Twitch link is in the description as well if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And yeah, I hope it was helpful and thanks you guys for watching.